So we decided to take this day trip because we are coming to the end of our winter. I'm sure if you know Arizona weather, uh, it's pretty hot in the summer. So we are at February, I mean, sorry, we're at March 10th. And um, that's pretty much getting close to the summertime. So while it's cool, we try to enjoy outside as much as possible. So even if we're not going away for the weekend, we take a day trip just to be outside, you know, because pretty soon we're going to be hibernating in air conditioning. Because for me, when it's over 90 degrees, it's too hot. <laughs> Fortunately, it's not humid. It's a dry heat, so that's pretty good. But um, I still like it cooler. And uh, we like to take trips to the ocean, and uh, which we were at last weekend in San Diego. And we had a great time. So, um, yeah, we just like to come out in the desert, enjoy the beauty of nature. And it makes you think, I don't know if you ever think about nature and the earth, but everything is perfectly balanced. Everything has its purpose. And the earth provides a perfect environment for everything to grow and live. And it's just amazing that the planet provides what every species needs. If you think of all the millions of species of creatures on this planet, and they each have their own purpose. And without them, it wouldn't be the same. So uh, it's good to reflect on that, appreciate your planet, what it provides. And I'm not going to get on a um, God trip uh, with you, but for me, it makes it hard not to believe if you don't believe there was a higher power that created all this. It's not just by happenstance or a big bang theory, I think, but um, for everything to have its purpose, to have what it needs to survive, it's hard to believe that's just happenstance, you know? So, um, just a little thought from my own head. But it's just nice to, uh, to look at. There's a documentary called I Am. I don't remember the guy's name. It's the guy that directed the Ace Ventura movie, you know, the Jim Carrey movies, um, Mask, you know, the other movies he did, he was the director of those. And he ha has a very interesting story of his life and why he got out of that business. And he speaks with other professionals and gets their views and takes on, you know, what they've learned about life and everything. And one guy, he says, uh, when he was a young boy, he was with this older gentleman. I don't know if it was a relative or just a friend. And the man tells him, he says, look around. Do you see all that? Do you hear that? And he's like, see what? Hear what? He says, the grass, the trees, the dirt, the sky, the birds, everything. It's all alive. And it is. Everything on this planet is alive. It has a life. And it's just really cool. So this is a big reason we love to travel, get out of the routine and enjoy nature because so many of us don't think of it, take it for granted. And I think it's just uh, good to reflect on, good to open your mind to what you are and where you are and how this all became. So anyway, my insight for the day. <laughs> also, think about this. The Earth that we know of is the only planet to sustain life. It's possible there's other planets out there that we don't know about, but 
in our immediate solar system, Earth is the only planet that has a sun and a moon, which is essential to sustain life on the planet. If we didn't have those, we wouldn't have life as we know it, if at all. <laughs> so again, think of that as, is that just a happenstance? Um, is that just from nature that we just happen to have other planets that provide what the earth needs for life to live? Yeah, makes it easy to believe there was something else involved in that. So anyway, 